Hello there everybody and thanks for tuning in to another video here on Armor of God. In this video, I would like to cover a little about what the exorcist Father Paulo Carlin says about the devil and not to ignore his existence because unfortunately, we are the victims of a culture imbued with the greatest lie that Satan has ever devised, the denial of his existence. Father Paulo Carlin is an exorcist in the Diocese of Ravenna and Faenza, and he is also the spokesperson of the International Exorcist Association and its National Delegate for Italy. According to Father Carlin, so many people question the existence of the devil because the devil is not known. We are the victims of a culture imbued with the greatest lie that Satan has ever devised, which consists in the denial of his existence. This is also due to ignorance and to the more or less conscious adhesion to new age or to new eastern-oriented philosophies. But the devil does exist, and he's not the bearer of light that his adorers would have us believe. Unfortunately, many priests, who are not knowledgeable of the subject, don't talk enough about it. Not to mention those who resort to fictitious liberation capacities, thereby deceiving themselves and others with them. Certain gifts, unless you are a saint, don't come from God. Father Carlin also says that we have grown used to seeing movies where exorcists carry out a hand-to-hand -hand combat with the devil. In reality, the battle is not between the exorcist and the devil, but between the church and the devil. Sometimes the devil can make us nervous because he takes us by surprise. Tell me your six names! We are the ones who dwell within. Let me you shut your head between and hobby cabin in your own. But he has never frightened Father Carlin. He says that the devil is unpredictable and boring at the same time. We should not be afraid and those who believe in Jesus are not afraid. Nonetheless, the devil must not be underestimated for he is a great deceiver. He is stronger than any man because he is a fallen angel. But before God, he is powerless and he is not almighty. Jesus won for us. But in order to win, we have to side with the winner. We are the ones to decide, with our choices. Evil cannot be defeated by another evil. And Father Carlin also reminds us that the spiritual weapons of all Christians against the devil are the same, which are veritable arms. The helmet is the gospel that protects the head from delusions and from the temptations of evil. The sword is prayer that helps us avoid pitfalls, while the sacraments, the action of God in human life, is our armor. Confession is more powerful than an act of exorcism. The more we confess, the more the devil is distant from us. The Eucharist is the spiritual force of our soul, and finally, faith is the shield. For those who have faith in God, Satan is powerless.